at a shopping mall in Toronto. Hungry for opinions. Setting up to get the whole grain truth about the largest submarine sandwich chain in the world. Subway. All right, step into our studio. Subway is considered a healthy option, but it's come under fire lately for its ingredients. And now we're looking at its nine grain wheat bread. Sounds good. I like the whole grain aspect. It's healthy. It's very healthy in the first place. And it's 100% whole wheat. So here's what we really want to know. Is Subway's nine grain wheat bread as healthy as people think? To find out what they tell you at the counter, we take our hidden cameras to five Subways in Toronto. Hi, I was just wondering in terms of bread, what's your healthiest option? Whole wheat. Whole wheat? Whole wheat? Yeah. At all five Subways, workers call the nine grain wheat bread whole wheat. In terms of your bread, what's the healthiest option? Uh, in Surrey, BC, Din Banwait bought the healthy hype. Din has diabetes, so she has to watch her blood sugar levels. She thought that bread was the greatest thing since, well, you know. I went into Subway and I ordered um, normally what I normally would order was nine grain, had the six inch sub, and my glucose levels were really high. That's when Din decides to go online, check out the ingredients in her favorite bread. And what does she learn? It came up that their first ingredient was enriched flour. Enriched flour? How healthy is that? Does it come down to marketing? We check in with dietitian Shauna Lindzen. I think it's deceiving for the consumer when they buy the nine grain bread, because if they don't look at the nutritionals, they don't know that the first ingredient is white flour and that the sixth ingredient, even after the yeast, is the nine grain blend. Yep, that enriched flour, it's just white flour and the main ingredient. Back at the Subway restaurants, will we get the whole truth about their nine grain wheat bread? Is it 100% whole wheat? No. 100% whole wheat? Same thing happens at the second Subway. Is that 100% whole wheat? Yes. And at the next three locations, they all tell us there's no white flour. But you know that there's no white flour? No white flour. Five out of five get it wrong. What do you think about that, hearing that it's maybe not as healthy as you think? I feel deceived. I actually kind of feel like I've been lied to. And there's something else about that nine grain wheat bread. Guess why it's brown? Doesn't that suggest that it's made from a lot of whole wheat? One of the ingredient lists it does indicate that there's caramel added in, so that also adds to the color. She says adding caramel helps turn the bread brown. I think it's misleading, it's shady. Yeah. It's shady because a lot of customers trust this place, they choose it as a healthier choice. Yeah. It's not okay. As for Din Banwait, to make sure she keeps her diabetes in check, she makes her own sandwiches now and has a message for Subway. You should tell the truth to your customers. You should have your employees better trained. And if somebody's asking you a question regarding health problems, you should have that information available to them. We ask Subway why they're misleading people. They tell us we will reinforce with our franchisees the proper way to respond to customer questions. But we say, Subway, you're busted. For making your nine grain wheat bread appear healthier than it really is. And that leaves a bad taste.